PC filters have been placed for decades, and they do have a role to play in preventing PE. But research has also shown that filters can sometimes result in complications. Now, while it's rare, over time these filters can fracture and travel through the bloodstream to other parts of the body, or occasionally their legs penetrate or perforate into adjacent organs, causing pain or even new blood clots. For decades, interventional radiologists like myself have placed and later removed these filters using snares and sheaths and advanced imaging. We do it through a pencil point incision in the neck vein, threading our miniature tools through that venous highway all the way to the abdomen into the IVC where the filters are implanted. But what do we do with the more complicated removals? Like when the body forms scar tissue that prevents that filter from being easily removed. Well, here's one story. John had a car accident 16 years ago. It resulted in multiple fractures and a spinal cord injury. Now, because John was immobile, he developed a blood clot in his leg. And due to his injuries, John could not safely take blood thinners to treat that blood clot, to prevent it from going to the lungs, to prevent the PE. So, the decision was made to place a retrievable IVC filter. Fortunately, John recovered from his injuries. The filter did its job and he never had a PE. But then John got lost to follow up. He never was brought back or he never returned back to have his filter removed. Now fast forward 16 years later, John now has a family, his kids keep him active, but then he began having severe pain in his abdomen and his back. This pain was debilitating and a CAT scan ended up getting done. It showed his filter's legs are now penetrating through his IVC, causing his severe pain. John thought his only options were to live with the pain or have a major open surgery to remove that embedded filter, one that was now stuck in place with 16 years of scar tissue. But now, for the first time, there's an FDA-approved solution for complex filter retrievals. It's called Eximer Laser. So doctors were able to thread the laser fiber through John's veins and ablate the scarring around the filter, freeing the filter up so they could safely and successfully snare it out, recapturing it in minutes. And all via a minimally invasive procedure, leaving behind just a band-aid on John's neck. Laser technology and image-guided therapy, now helping patients like John get back to living the lives they love. And now, you're in the know.